Let's now shift our attention to China. As the rest of the world loosens the COVID-19 restrictions, China continues to implement harsh lockdown policies. Now, this comes as China reported more than 2,000 cases for the second day in a row on Sunday. On Monday, China shut Shanghai's Disney Resort in its latest zero COVID move. The operations have been suspended at Disneyland and the surrounding areas until further notice. The visitors inside the park at the time of the announcement were barred from leaving. And they have been directed to stay there until they are confirmed to be COVID-19 negative. The Shanghai government has said that anyone who visited the park since the 27th of October would need to test for COVID-19 three times in three days. The city of Zhengzhou in the central Henan province is also witnessing a rise in cases. And as a result, China is trying to prevent the migrant workers from fleeing to their hometowns. Remember, this is home to the Taiwanese company Foxconn's iPhone assembly complex. The complex has around 200,000 workers. And on Sunday, China said it would not stop the workers from leaving. However, cities near this part urged the workers to report to local authorities before heading home and videos have emerged on Chinese social media platforms showing alleged Foxconn workers climbing over fences. And then there is Wuhan. China has deployed the military to enforce lockdown measures. Videos posted on social media platforms showing military vehicles patrolling the city. Now, if all this was not dystopian enough, you can add robocops to the mix. Mechanical enforcers are taking people's temperatures and scanning the QR codes on their smartphones. People with unusually high temperatures are then sent to take a COVID-19 test. Now, China is not letting up on its COVID-19 policies despite the inconvenience caused to the people. And now that Xi Jinping has just consolidated his hold on power, China can be expected to pursue zero COVID no matter what the cost would be. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.